Hey everyone, it is Velvet. Welcome back to more Mori. In the last one, we escaped from the dungeon and did several things in Sweetheart's Castle. Mostly on the lower floor. And in this one, we're probably going to be finishing up here. I don't know. We will see. Let's go to... Whatever's over here. Is this the kitchen? There's a what looks like to be a roach up there. Um, that's not great. Ugh, my dear Sue's chef. I'm afraid my back just can't take it anymore. It is at this unfortunate time that I announce my retirement. But wait, Chief! Without you, who will lead us in our task of baking a most magnificent cake for the main event? Sue's chef, it is now time for one of you to step up to the limelight. A cake must be baked today. Our very lives are on the line. Oh yes, I hear you, Chief. As the most capable one of us, I will volunteer to take charge of this task. I won't fail you, I promise. No! Hey, you there. You far for our sous chefs now. Meet me in the kitchen, pronto. You've never seen us before. Who am I? I see there. Are, yeah, all right. What's going on up here? Uh, Mar, it, well, if I had known, I would have just come here. The sprout mole gazes wistfully at Sweetheart's portrait. A bowl of sweet strawberries. I'd love to eat some strawberries. There sure are a lot of sprout moles here, and they all sure love Sweetheart. I tried offering one some food earlier, but she called me a peon and threw it back at me. Sprout moles are peculiar creatures, aren't they? They're a bit strange, for sure. Oh, I, I, I don't understand French at all. <laughs> I can recognize it because we were we were supposed to learn French in school, uh, and then I didn't. <laughs> oh yeah, well, another letter. It's uh. Oh, okay. Cool. It looks like a, a, a Z. No, it's a J. Mr. J. Got another pearl. Yeah, I'll take a bite of the garbage cake. Was there a cake in the library? Because if so, I guess I gotta start eating... ...random cakes. Marsha suddenly pulled me from my home and said I was going to replace some faulty staff here. <laughs> yeah, the turnover rate must be pretty bad, huh? Yeah, what did you do today? I didn't mean to talk to you. I'm sorry to interrupt your meditation. I'm just trying to make a noise around you, you see. Yo, bow tie. That must be uh, an accessory. Plus four defense. Okay. What's everybody else got? Nah. Yeah, I think I think we're done back here. 
except for these two jars. But yeah, I guess I'll have to run back to the library to see if there's... Uh, this probably would be a job for Hero, because isn't he the chef? To see if there was cake I didn't eat there. Can't leave this room until I bake the best cake in existence. Wait, what? What did Cal get? Heals a lot of juice to a friend, but also hurts the friend. Can I kill the, the roach? I'm just like digging the pantry. I mean, who? Okay. I guess I can just let you do whatever you want. Okay, yeah. Let's Let's follow the recipe. Don't be nervous, just me, I know what I'm doing. First, let's preheat the oven to 75 degrees. Okay. Two main ingredients, flowers and ping pong balls. I don't... I don't know that that's correct. So it'd be flowers... And pine berries, most likely, is what he means. No, I didn't mean to take that. Flour? Well, it's a... <laughs> It's a cake, so it'd be flour and eggs, I believe. No, we're gonna put a full turkey dinner in there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know fully how to bake a cake, but flour and eggs sounds like the salt and cheese. I don't think so. I think you mean sugar and butter. Grab the sauce and cut it into- what do you mean the sauce? Do you mean strawberries? Is it a strawberry cake? I'm concerned about the oven now, because I don't think 75 degrees is nearly enough to preheat, but we'll... Whatever happens. Now mix them all together and stick it in the mi in the microwave! I don't think this is gonna cook well enough. I think it's too low. This guy's going to die. Yeah. Another funeral for another tragic soul. We got an achievement for that! This sounds... correct. I wonder if there's an achievement for killing all of them. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I got every other step correct. It's just I preheated it incorrectly. 
Because I'm just like... Because he, here, here was what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah, I don't think 75 is high enough, but also... This is a silly game. Maybe we're just making a silly cake. It's just got Yeah, so I did everything else correctly. <sighs> well, at least the incompetent chef is dead. Good riddance. Our late head chef will be proud of. Yo, frying pan, that sounds like a weapon. I don't know why I didn't just go to Hero. Of course it's for Hero. There's also the baking pan. I didn't realize that was a weapon for him. Um, my bad. Alright, looks like we're done here. Um... Yeah, let's let's go back to the library to see if I forgot about a cake there. Oh, we're gonna fight uh, Sir Maximus again. Oh, Sir Maximus the Second! Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. Hm. <laughs> you must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father. But I'm stronger than he. With my impressive lineage and my father by my side, I will be victorious. Alright, well, I'm gonna also treat this seriously just in case. He, he might be, he might be correct. He might be stronger than his father. Uh, and I don't want to risk it getting uh, sliced and diced because I underestimated this kid, but more than likely he's going to go down like a joke, right? Oh, I didn't mean to mock him. I meant to make myself sad. That's fine, though. Remembers his father's dying words. That's fine. Um... No, we're- him being sad right now is perfectly fine, actually. I'll hit him with, like, a thing after from Cal, but right now this is fine. No! I cannot let my father's death be in vain! Only 20 damage, huh? Alright, yeah, let's hit him with a curveball and see what happens. Yo, he's angry now! Aubrey's about to <laughs> destroy him. Uses his father's ultimate attack. Never mind. He's gonna hurt all of us and then uh, fall. Oh, not yet. Father, forgive me. I'm sorry. I have failed you. Damn, Kel. Um. Well. Excuse me a moment while I go back and eat some strawberries. 
because Kel is uh, going through it with his HP right now. I would love to eat some strawberries, thank you. So are we gonna meet Sir Maximus the Third, or is like that it? <laughs> or has the bit run its course? But yeah, I gotta gotta see if there's jam packets I'm missing. Even though I haven't really used them as an item, so I'm like kind of who cares? Yep, there was a cake here. Okay, smells like a beet. Welcome to Conga Island. And there's nothing even here for me! <laughs> I came back here for nothing, just to see Conga Island. Alright, fair enough. Only the chambers left to go through. The place I avoided, because I'm like, oh my god, Sweetheart's gonna be up there. She might not. Um. But then she might. What are you doing here? Well, this is awkward. We're just taking an elevator, who cares? We all got places to be, right? Okay, so she isn't up here. Um, Magnificent Large, would you like to sleep here with your friends? Yes! Let's sleep in someone else's bed. That sounds perfectly fine. You found a body pillow. Um... What... is... that for? Is it a toy? Life-sized and huggable, yet suspicious. It gives us more heart and attack. We may as well. Yo, it's a statue of Space Boy. Poetry by Sweetheart. Ah, a day. And a day it was. Such a lovely day. Yeah, when's the... When's the full book coming out? Is he trying to move the statue of Space Boy out? If only this thing was suddenly conveniently smashed into itty bitty pieces. Well, ma'am, what it sounds like to me is that you're in need of some destruction. And Aubrey here happens to be a destruction specialist. Aubrey? Well, that's a very strange name for a Sprout Mole. Then again, Sweetheart has been running out of new names to give us as of late. Wait, Kel. Isn't that a statue of Captain Space Boy? I would feel bad destroying it. It's not like he's ever gonna know. Captain Space Boy and Sweetheart are a thing of the past. Live and let live, that's what I always say. You don't always say that. But fine, I guess I can give it a shot. I will momentarily, but first we have a cake to eat. Where are we gonna hallucinate ourselves to today? It's in the middle of the forest, okay. <laughs> what if we just smash the statue of Sweetheart instead? Hero learned tea time. What what do tea time do? Heal some of a friend's heart and juice. Yeah, maybe. Uh, 
Is there another skill that we can... that's worth replacing? Not really. Oh. We got... we got watermelon. I have so many items. A whole pizza? Damn it, I can't just smash Aubrey or, uh, Sweethearts. Well, here we go. This time, I won't fail. She didn't even swing. My word, you've done it. Well, time to clean this up. She didn't even swing, it just shattered. Ew, you're real lifesavers. I should have known just to leave this task to the specialists. Another one, huh? Gotta keep it symmetrical. My, my. Well, this is a surprise. Turns out all I had to do was lift it from the bottom. Yeah, that'll... That'll make it easier, for sure. Center of gravity and all, right? Well... I guess we're done here. Yep, Sir Maximus the Third, huh? Stop, imposters! I know what you are, and you are not sprout moles. <laughs> you must be wondering how I am able to tell. You see, I am the son of the fabled warrior of legend, Sir Maximus the Second, and the grandson of Sir Maximus. You may have bested my father and grandfather, but that has only fueled my rage and thirst for vengeance. With my impressive lineage and father and grandfather by my side, I will be victorious and avenge my family. Sure you will, buddy. Let's just treat this the same way, except can you- can't I reduce attack twice? I should probably do that. I guess stab is becoming less useful as an attack, considering- Oh, he strikes twice, good for him. Uh, so I guess we're healing Kel instead. Uh, but considering I reduce his defense anyway, so piercing defense is not- as powerful, you know? Hundred ninety. Flexes and feels his best. So he's happy now. Hmm. Happy is not good for me quite as much. Like, it's fine, but I'd rather he be, he feel something different. Let's smile again, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you can reduce it twice. Angry? That's fine. I was hoping he'd be sad, but... No, I cannot let my father's and his father's deaths be in vain. Oh, they're gonna be in vain, Sir Maximus the Third. Except Aubrey is, uh, the McDead. That's okay. We have plenty of life jam. It's just like at the bottom of the list. Oh, jam packets revives all friends.
His grandfather. Aubrey's gonna die again. Well, that's fine. Because what we can do is we can revive Aubrey again, and then since we have 10 energy, when Amori attacks, we can just release energy and, like, it's over now. Rest in pieces, Sir Maximus the Third. Father! Grandfather! I'm sorry. I have failed you. That's right, you have! Amore learned painful truth? Okay. Hey, is it just me, or does it seem quieter all of a sudden? Wasn't there a crowd of sprout moles at the entrance earlier? I don't see them around anywhere. They must have finally pushed their way outside. Let's follow them, Amori. Maybe they can lead us out of here. I don't trust that. I'm gonna go heal and maybe save first. But also, what do you mean, painful truth? Deals damage to a foe. Amori and the foe become sad. Yeah, I'll replace sad poem with that. Yeah, that, that sounds fine. Okay. Now that we are healed and saved, let's leave. And we you we might be fine. There might be like Mari might just appear like right here, for example. But gotta be sure, right? The hell is happening? Woohoo! We're finally out of Sweetheart's Castle! Not quite. I wonder what's up what, with that big event everyone is preparing for. It's obviously like a wedding or something, isn't it? Strange. I don't see the sprout moles from the entrance anywhere. Where could they have all gone? There must be a hidden exit somewhere. Let's poke around at anything that looks suspicious. Uh, everything... ...looks suspicious. But I guess up here first. God. Youch! That hurt! Is everyone okay? What happened? Ugh, that sweetheart topiary just fired a laser at us. Hmm. There's just gotta be a way to get rid of these guys. So don't go in front of the sweetheart statues. Or, I guess, shrubs. Alright, sweetheart. You asked for this. Hiya! Dang, I missed. Oh, silly Kel. You're not going to knock out anything throwing like that. Why don't you try aiming for once? Huh? Aim? I can do that? Of course! Even you can aim, Kel. Alright, I'll give it my best shot. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Damn, I was hoping we'd hit the... <laughs> the bow guy. I don't trust this birdhouse, but I guess it's fine. So if we throw this way, we can knock that one out, and then we have another that we can... There we go! Perfect! 
Did we t we took a bit of damage, but it's not enough that it's like concerning. Is this another Sir Maximus? Well, that gets rid of the spikes. Brian the Distinguished. You're in the presence of one of Sweetheart's Distinguished Elites. I will guard the wisdom- Okay. What was the point of that? I, I don't want to fight you. I guess it was just to unlock aimed throwing, but... Uh, we can't get to that. I... I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Truth be told. There. <laughs> now we can hit this switch. And go get that... That wall of melon. That is a guy in a horse mask. I'm interested in what's going on there. I guess once we hit all four... I presume four switches, something will happen. Or if we talk to all four of these guys. Helen the Calamitous. I'm like, super busy standing here being one of the Calamitous elite and all. Can I like, help you with something? No. Nope. That's all good for me. I am curious about Horse Mask. Get back here! I just want to talk to you. You're a fight. Mars's roll party rolls initiative. It's a natural one. Uh, so we have horse butt, horse head, and Marsha. Marsha's the stomach. I see. Gonna take care of Marsha first, just because why not? Okay, so they both become yeah, that that's pretty good. I think. Amori should attack again, right? Yeah. Heroes follow-ups are pretty good now because of the both heal the healing, both HP and juice, and they get a follow-up attack, right? And now the horse should have no innards. It's just a head and a butt. <laughs> what made Aubrey angry? I don't remember. Cause I didn't make her angry. She just appears to be for some reason. That's fine. He took 32 damage. Oh, angry from the horse head licking him, huh? Wait, he took 32 damage just from a lick? That tongue must be like sandpaper. I don't want to know what that mouth do. Um. Yeah, let's have some tea. Why is Aubrey wearing a hat? And why is Kel no longer the leader? 
Split right down the middle. Cal, I can aim? Yeah, yeah you can. Oh, there's a trap door there. Is that leading me back down to Mari? I hope so. Because I can now finally put my confusion about that out of my brain and just stop thinking about it. Because I have not stopped thinking about it. I'm like, how the hell, <laughs> how the hell do I get there? As a member of the steamed elite, I have a special code word to hide. But you probably won't know anything about that. I don't. Um, and until that becomes relevant, I don't care. But I, I assume we're going to have to go and talk to them all after... Yep, this is exactly where this is. Well, let's have... Let's have some pickles. Probably switch back to Cal, because, like, he's who we're gonna need, right? Wheel. Was this Skyrim? Skyrim obviously being the only game that's allowed to have cheese wheels in it, of course. And you eat you pause the game to eat twenty different cheese wheels all at once. Protecting the sacred password is an arduous task. Perhaps one day you fine young moles will carry the same burden of the illustrious elite. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna need, like... I'll probably, like, examine this statue in the center, and it'll be like, Hey! You need passwords. I don't know what the password is. You said never mind. Wrong! Sorry about that, Cal. I could probably just brute force this, but like these guys were guarding it, right? So like... The fourth of the four. It's about food. Okay, where's my notepad? Because it's it, it. There's four of them, so. Okay, so, ba -ba 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 -ba. one, two, three, four. The fourth is food related. Started chewing on the grass. And what, okay, so she just tells us it's donut. As in that stupid pet name, that weird blue guy always called Sweetheart or something? Please. That's no secret at all. Anyone could guess that. They were always walking around here and acting all coupley, calling each other names like that back and forth. Stupid things like, or saying things like, why won't you ask me to marry you yet? And I'm sorry, my friends don't approve of this relationship. But whatever. I'm still stuck here guarding the pastors of those three other guards. Those guys couldn't keep a secret to save their lives. Guarding the word donut. Okay. No, like, I I sympathize with you. That sounds annoying, for sure. What about you? The second one. 
Not so fast there, buddy. I'd say you're awfully tall for a sprout mole. How do I know if you're really one of us highly intelligent, majestic creatures? Do you think I'd ever spill a password to a potential spy? Ha! Don't make me laugh! If you're so sure you're a sprout mole, why don't you prove it? I'll tell you the password if you can guess what I'm thinking of right now. Of, uh, sweetheart. Oh, hmm. I was thinking about tofu, but... You know what? You're right. I should absolutely be thinking about sweetheart. Perhaps you were even more of a sprout mole than me. I apologize for ever doubting you. Guess there are all kinds of sprout moles out there. Now, lean in closer. The password that I've been trusted with is Jelly. And you are the second one. You got that? Promise you won't tell me anyone, alright? Sure. It's probably like something jelly-filled donut. You know, like Brock eats from Pokemon. I love a jelly-filled donut. There are four passwords that must be spoken. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, the, the third of the four. Huh? You want to know the password? Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Uh, you really need it? Like you really, really need it? Like you really, really, really need it? Like you really, 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 really need it? Hmm, hmm, I guess I have no choice then. But you have to promise not to tell anyone. Binky swear on it, of course. And done. I was worried you might have been someone untrustworthy. Now, leaning closer. The password that I've been trusted with is filled. Yep. You got that? I promise you won't tell anyone, okay? Now, we can probably just guess it from this, but... There are four passwords, blah, 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 blah. The first of the four. It's a beautiful day out in the garden, isn't it, brothers and sisters? Uh, you are saying you would like to know of the password. I apologize. I'm afraid that is not in my jurisdiction. Though, I suppose something tasty, off-white, and cubish may change my mind. I'll give you a tofu. No. <laughs> Delicious, irresistible tofu. I suppose I could let it slip just this once. Now, leaning closer, the password that I've been entrusted with is sweet. Yep, yeah, sweet jelly-filled donut. Cool. You got that? Promise you won't tell anyone, okay? I promise. Do not worry about me, sir. And sure, let's go and let's go and type in this password, shall we? An impressive statue of sweetheart casts a discomforting shadow over the garden. The password is sweet jelly <laughs> inhaling <laughs> filled. Uh, absolutely elevator. Yeah, donut. You said sweet jelly filled donut. Hmm. Fine. Uh, here's the thing. This is almost certainly a boss fight. Um, I don't want to do a boss fight just this moment. Uh, I don't, I don't want to fight at all, truth be told. Um, so we're going to go back to Aubrey, or not Aubrey, Tamari, and we're going to end things off here. So, thank you so very much for watching. Cal, suck it up, eat the fucking pickles. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider Consider subscribing and leaving a like and all that. And until next time, um, I, d I didn't.
I, I didn't mean to, to, to talk to you, Mari. I just wanted to save. Until next time, have a fantastic day, alright? See you then.